Hey there, everybody. How is it going? Michael Donahue here, and uh, if you are listening, thank you very much for choosing to spend your time with me. And if you listened last week, then you happen to know who my next episode is going to be a crazy cool interview with. Uh, if you did not, that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> my next episode is one of the coolest things I've ever gotten to do. Um, to be honest with you, I had a very lengthy conversation with Fred Kohler, who is a name you may not be familiar with, but there's a pretty good chance you've seen some of his work. Uh, the reason I am such a fan of this fella is a show called Oz that was on HBO and uh, is some pretty intense prison drama craziness that if you can stomach such things you should absolutely give a watch i mean has anybody seen mr mom you know with michael keaton <laughs> that movie uh, is to this day good times and uh, he was the oldest son uh, the reason that uh this this got to happen is that uh he is also the lead of a film called the evil within that screened this year at Shriekfest, and uh, I'm not going to bore everyone with the minutia, but uh, I geeked out in a very ridiculous fashion on this fella, and uh, he was kind enough to actually email me back, so <laughs> uh, he came over to the apartment and we recorded. What I'm putting up this week are just some teasers. Uh, the lion's share of the interview was a, specifically about the evil within, but, uh, you know, a couple times when there were random breaks in conversation, we just kind of talked. And what you're going to hear now are some of those bits of conversation, and then come back next week for all the evil within crazy cool goodness. So, when I was, uh, when I was a kid, I went to Catholic school, and, uh, in fifth grade, we're all thrown together the, uh, the yearbook and uh the, the, the there, there was one page that was uh you know the, the what ifs in life and at this point in my life i was the type of person who when uh three or four people go wouldn't it be hilarious if mike worked in horror movies i was so personally offended as a human that i insisted they take it off of the uh, out of the book so they did cut to i'm doing press <laughs> at a horror film festival and talking to you so Life is weird, brother. <laughs> Isn't it? It's yeah, it's a weird. Yeah. It's weird, but it it seems like you actually really genuinely enjoy it. And yeah, you enjoy I enjoy it. I mean, you know, and for me, just personally, it's a pleasure to talk to somebody one who who has seen the film. Okay. And is interested in talking about it. I mean, whether you like it or not, it's actually I think a film that is it's kind of fun to talk about. Absolutely. Like whether you liked it or not. So I I appreciate the conversation. Absolutely. Oh man, right on. Freaky Links? Do, do you remember being on Freaky Links? Sure! Yeah, yeah. Because I loved that fucking show. Okay. I'm one of the idiots that watched it when it ran. Okay. And then, and, and then, and then you know, before the internet was all big, I was like, where's my show? <laughs> Trying to find out when it was coming back. And uh, I had completely forgotten that you were in it. I was. I was. I think I've only one episode. I'm briefly did, in it. Did you, did you, did you see I've got... I've got... No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, where, did it, where did I put it? Because I used it. Right, right there. Yep. <laughs> So yeah, oh, you're, how you're, funny. What, what you're in is actually the series finale. Oh, yeah. how funny. <laughs> so, yeah, but, but back in the day, uh, I used to go to this place called Frank and Sons, and uh, it's essentially like the dealer's room at a Comic-Con. Okay. Uh, but it happens twice a week in City of Industry. Okay. And uh, it, if it's remotely nerdy, it's there. So, like, film, uh, like, if you're into, like, Pokemon cards or Magic cards, it's there. If you're into lighted beer signs and sports memorabilia, it's there. It's like a place to find. It's like a catch-all. Okay. Exactly, exactly. And, oh, how uh, fun. And I, the only times I'm kind of okay with a bootleg situation are the things not coming out in America. So, like, uh, there's a show called Garth Marenghi's Dark Place out, out of Britain that's just brilliant, ridiculous comedy. Uh, and it will never be here. It, there's only a Region 2 DVD. Okay. And so I'm like, okay. Well, when I get a Region 3 player, I'll buy one of those, but... Right now, I want to watch it. So, internet. Um, but so, so like I have, I have this. Um, there was an issue with uh, the X Men animated series, where when uh, Marvel uh, became Marvel Studios and uh, Fox retained the rights to the X Men, when they put out the X Men animated series, the rights having changed with the characters, they had to remove arcs of the story. I've got it all as aired. So, <laughs> yeah. 
That's yeah. cool. That's the kind of deep nerd that I get. <laughs> God bless. Yeah. If you don't want a major spoiler for an arc in the third season of the show Oz, you should skip the next minute. Yeah, like it was. It was interesting because like uh, my girlfriend and I rewatched the the episode of Oz where you die. Okay. And uh, we're both sitting here, and we get like forty five minutes into the show, we're like, "Is this the wrong episode?" Because like we both remembered it taking up way more of the episode than just the last ten minutes. Like like j- you know j- the arc with with you with you yeah. and Schillinger and everything. Yeah. It's just like the the, the the bravery of 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 like the content and you know like like the, the nudity in the whole and and just the, that show in general is 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 just something that when when I finally saw the whole show which wasn't until after I got with her um, that I was like oh I remember the last ten minutes of this verbatim like <laughs> that's so cool yeah 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 there was this guy who came to the store we were friendly. And about after like the eighth or ninth time, I made him giggle. He was like, oh, "I made a couple movies." I was like, "Okay, well, what'd you make?" He's like, "I wrote and directed Jason Goes to Hell," and I and I wrote Texas Chainsaw 3D. And I'm like, "Really?" So we're we're friendly. We're doing stuff. He has a new movie coming out, and I'm like, "Would you want to maybe screen at LA Comic Con and go to the convention for a while?" And so like I put forth the I, I, I did the groundwork. Yeah. And uh, there's a screening of his new film that I'm running next weekend. That's so, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, Have you seen funny. Mother yet? I did. What did you think? Uh, I, I th- I'm the one person I'm aware of that's actually middle of the road. And really? Because everybody I talk to is like love or hate. I really liked it. And, I, and there's a lot of it that I really liked. Um, I don't know, like I don't know what I was expecting because I like to go in as blind as possible, so I didn't see a lot of trailers. But when I talked to a lot of people, they were all like, you know, the the the, the deep you know, metaphor and symbolism of, of like, the, the biblical stuff of the subtext. I'm like, what subtext? It was all right there. Yeah, I didn't find that. That's I didn't like, find there's, that. There's no subtext at all. Like, but I enjoyed what it was. And, and the bizarre nature of the visuals is, yeah, like, that stuff, like, stuff that really gets me going. Like, have you seen any of the, have you seen The Fall? No. Okay, so it's this dude who sometimes goes by just Tarsum, other times goes by Tarsum. Oh, sure, 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 sure. The guy who did this, it's the, the, the cell. cell. Okay. That guy. He yes. Made a, he made a movie I called. didn't see The Fall. It's uh, it's it stars Lee Pace, who is the he was the bad guy yeah, in sure. the Galaxy, right? Yeah. Uh, and he's, great. Uh, he's a stuntman in the 1920s who gets good and fucked up, winds up in the hospital, and the crux of the film is he's telling this little girl fantastical tales so that she will go and steal him morphine. But the tales that he tells are you know visually represented in the film, and it took it Tarzan filmed it over like four years on like six continents or something. And it's just, it, like, if you like his visual style in the cell, take it out of the red-black death realm and put it into the hyper-color, uh, hy- hyper, uh, like, blown-out purples and weird, like, it's just a, yeah. Like, it's I, wild. There's a DVD around here somewhere, I, yeah. Oh, wow, The Fall. I'll check it out. 